If you want to make your visual storytelling more powerful, this video is for you. I will tell you my 4 uncommon tips for cinematic composition, not just for making cinematic framing, but to communicate feelings better to your audience. So welcome, I'm Alex Salmeen and here's the first tip. If you want to communicate that your character is very alone or very powerless, framing your character on the bottom of the frame is a very effective way to communicate that feeling to your audience. It works because it makes your audience feel that this character is not in control of this environment. Instead, it feels that your character is just a small thing in a big world. So for communicating powerlessness and loneliness, this kind of framing works often very well. Often when we learn about compositions for especially these kind of close-up shots about faces, the most common way to frame shot like this is to leave space next to your character face and eyes. But if you want to communicate that your character is like stuck in the situation or facing some obstacle, framing like this is a very simple way to do that. By framing your character facing the edge of the frame is like a very practical way to showcase that there is like that mental wall in front of him. And why I think this works so well to communicate that feeling is because like literally there is no space to move on or forward in your frame for your character. I think this kind of shot is very practical and effective way to showcase something meaningful in your scene. For example, if our character is waiting for a phone call, this would be a very good beginning shot for our scene. And you can also create tension easily with these kind of shots. For example, if the scene begins with this kind of shot, you instantly know that okay, that knife is somehow a key element in this scene. It builds up tension because you are right away guessing that okay, what this character is doing with that knife and also what's going on in the background because you can see it. So for directing focus to something and to build up tension, I think to composition like this is one of the most easiest way to do that. Low angle shots are often used to communicate power and status of your character. But there is also something else what you can communicate with the low angle shots. I like to use especially close up low angle shots when I want to communicate that my character is realizing or thinking something important. Why I want to do this with the low angle shots is because often it eliminates everything else from the background of your shot. This makes us focus more on the expressions of the character because there are no distractions in the frame. That's for all now. If you want to learn more about storytelling and visual storytelling, watch this next and I will see you on the next one.